welcome to Divarit Kids one more learning session today we are going to discuss something which is very commonly done in a preschool setup and perhaps when anybody wants to start a preschool or start some organization which will take care of the skill development among children who are in the age group between 2 to 6 years they often think that what are the activities i need to do in my school i have seen many promoters of preschool education and while they set up their school they do quite lot of research what are the activities they can install in their school premises so that children can learn quite well. So apart from outside activities, there are quite a lot in-house activities which become very much part and parcel of the preschool engagement in India and outside India. But question comes how those activities play a role in developing skill among preschoolers is something which we may just to relook and understand so that while we design various activities then we should be able to provide much better attention and the way we get engaged with our children to improve those skills those will be better off if we just understand little bit in increases of the activities and the skill development now while we talk of activities we must understand one concept that is called functional activities as i said when lot of promoters they try to bring quite lot of activities one simple thing we miss out is that while we do quite a lot of activities, what happens to the child after finishing those activities? That's where we bring the concept of functional activities. Now, one is that while we do activities, then we have very, very specific skill in mind that how we bring this particular skill in the child. And second one we do, for that purpose, we try to build some activities. And if there is an interaction between the specific skill we try to build in the children and the activities we do for that purpose, then that can be called as a functional activity. If we do activities without having understanding that what kind of skill is going to be achieved in the skill, then those activities simply cannot be called as functional activities. They will simply be activities or generic activities. Because after the activities are over, we do not know whether the child has achieved a particular skill or not. So dear parents and teachers who are just going through this particular video, please keep it in mind while we design and do various activities in a preschool setup, we must define a particular skill, whether this skill is achieved or not after this activity, we have to check and we have to monitor. So we must do the functional activities. Now, if this concept of functional activities are clear, we will be moving to something which is which are called various activities generally we do inside the premises of the preschool. It is not a play-based activities. They are the simply various craft-based activities we do uh, in a play school setup. And how these activities can build what kind of skill, that is something we must be looking forward to. So the tagline here, I would like to tell to all the parents and teachers who are aspiring to develop the skill among the children is that the activities must be defined well. 
the activities must be done well activities should engage the child well then only will be able to get those skills now in this series few skills that we try to develop in the child while we do various in house activities in the play school or in the preschool first and foremost skill is the planning skill while we grow up we need quite a lot of planning skill and the success of a child depends whether the planning skill is there or not if we can achieve those planning skills during our play school by organizing various play based methods then nothing will be better than that when the child is just doing all the planning skills with lot of ease second one the child will develop through such kind of activities is organizing skill organizing skill is another important skill while we just get into a professional life organizing skill is a big requirement not only in professional life but in personal life also if things are not organized well then maybe we are not as effective as we should be second skill that we can improve in the child during preschool years is the organizing skill third skill is the processing skill while we try to get a piece of work whether it's a work in the professional life or it's a work in the personal life processing that job is very very important so all the effectiveness of an individual depends how a particular job is processed and such skill is developed in the early childhood not at the latter stage of a life maybe latter stage of life can give us better tool to do that processing skill but as far as the cognition is concerned the processing skill starts developing in the age group of 2 to 6 years so they lay the foundation of the processing skill and while we grow up we bring new tools new techniques to make that processing skill work better the third skill which may be developed through activities are the processing skills now fourth skill is the finishing skill all of the parents and teachers will be surprising to know that more than 75% of the professionals they lack the skill of finishing a particular task starting a task may be easy we can start a task but when it comes to finishing completing the task that is a big big skill issue among many professionals so if we can just build this finishing skills among children in the preschool years or 2 to 6 years then it will be fantastic as far as the professional growth of the child is concerned now these are the four skills what we can do we can manage them quite well through doing various activities now how can we do them will be have will be having extended uh, understanding on each skill but just to give you some kind of understanding how these skills can be developed through activities we can just understand that quite uh, fast and very briefly now once it comes to planning skill what are the things that can be included or what are the sub skills we need to look at while we are just trying to build those skills among children number one is that skill of visualization of the outcome of the activity when we do various activities in school then there must be one outcome if we do a pottery then after doing that activity how does it look like so that skill of visualization is very very important for a child in the preschool years if visualization skills are not improved or that is not inculcated among children then when the child will grow and enter into a professional life then the visualization of anything the child is going to do that will be difficult and if that visualization skill is not there 
then creativity, then thinking out of box will be very, very difficult. So under planning skill, visualization skill we can develop. And as I said, we'll be having our extended session, how to inbuilt and how to bring those skills uh, among children, we'll discuss in a separate session. Then second skill under planning skill, what we can develop is that skill of understanding all the inputs and ingredients those are needed for that particular activity. So this is another skill of understanding what do I need? What are the things that will be required to finish or to do this task is something very, very important and it's a part of the planning skill. So if parents and teachers, they do not give importance to all the ingredients that will be required for doing a piece of activity doesn't matter whether the activity is a uh, you know big activity small activity or it's a small time activity big time activity doesn't matter if we do activities we need some inputs we need some ingredients so child's understanding that will be very very important and by the time you must be knowing why i am saying that because in the professional life if we do not understand whether it's a manpower requirement, whether it's a raw material, those things are developed in the early childhood, not at the managerial level, what we just try to do it. Then third skill under planning skill comes is that skill of when and how these activities to be carried out. Although teachers or parents, they will be doing this activity, but when it comes to developing a particular skill in the child, child should know when and how such activities will be carried out whether at school or at home. So if that forecasting of this activity when that can be done that is not there in the child then planning skill will be very very difficult. So under planning skill through any activity we can develop this three sub activities to make the planning skill in the child absolutely good. Then we'll move to the next uh, set of skills. Next skill we discussed was the second one is the organizing skill. Organizing skill is important because of again three sub skills that we can develop in the child while we do various activity in the school at home. Number one is that skill on where all the inputs are available. Now in the planning stage, the child understand what are the least of items I need to do this activity. Under organization skill, the child must have the skill where I should get all these inputs or ingredients. Whether it's the activity is done at school, then which part of the school, which activity areas those goods are kept. If teacher says, go and get those inputs without any delay, child should understand where exactly it is kept and child should be able to procure those things from that place. Same with uh, the child at home. Now, a lot of things will come to your mind by itself when child knows where the inputs are. Same may be applied to books, same may be applied to the uh, various teaching uh, aids like your pencil, compass box, bag, then uh, your school uh, tiffin box, school bottle. If you develop this particular skill through any activity, then all these skills will be helping the child to be a more organized person. The child when knows where my things are, then that skill by itself will make the child much better in terms of performing any task. Now child knows where the, that means if an item has to be placed in a particular location, doesn't matter how many times the, the, the particular object is being used, but after use, the object must be placed back at that location. Then the child knows that any time the child knows uh, wants to get that object, then child will be going forward and looking to that location. So that is one of the best organization skill and we, we should do that through an activity-based learning in the school or at home. 
second one under organizing skill is the skill to collect all the inputs without any problem now once the child understands where the goods are where the inputs are then it should not be a problem at all for the child to go and collect all these things so that the second pressing skill or or i going identifying and getting those ingredients for the particular activity is another uh, sub skill for the organizing skill now third one under this organization skill is that skill of understanding the substitute of a particular ingredient if that is not available while we try to do or collect that object for our activities now the substitution life is just like that whatever we try to get try to uh, search or try to get we may not get same thing happens while we just plan for an activity so that skill substitution skill or the skill of substituting substituting one thing for other to get a particular thing done without simply waiting and wasting time so that is another skill that can be very nicely developed while we just do those activities uh, with with uh, our children so these are the three sub skills we must keep it in mind while we just doing some kind of activity in our child third one third one talks about the processing skill processing skill is all about the actual doing a particular thing again many of us uh, in our professional life get into various uh, professional training just to understand the processing skill as i said in the beginning processing skill is a mind game so we must understand if something has to be done from where it gets starts from where it get ends so if that understanding is well established in our cognition then doesn't matter whatever is the activity will get it done quickly so under this processing skill first skill we need to understand and we need to inculcate in our child is the skill on querying the method of doing that activity every bit of job we do that needs a particular method of doing so now understanding that method is not important important is that the the look for, looking forward understanding that particular method is important because if the child is not trying to understand what are the methods involved in doing that particular activity then child processing skill may be poor while going further so this processing skill could be preparing for a exam the processing skill could be the uh, um, uh, eating the tiffin box the processing skill could be uh, drinking water at regular interval the processing skill could be listening to the elder so it's not like that we are limiting the skill to only studies we are making sure the child's skill of doing each and every activity becomes so effective the child himself or herself becomes quite effective in 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 different circle so that is very very important so looking forward and understanding a particular method is important under the processing skill and activities are very well designed to ensure child is looking forward and learning this particular skill second uh, skill under processing skill what we can teach to the child is skill to remember the steps of doing the activities we know teachers and parents we know there are processes while we do something do a piece of work that piece of work becomes fantastic if that is that is done through a process if process is followed work is done without any effect similarly if we inculcate the skill of following a process doesn't matter whether it's a eating drinking or doing a small piece of work anything if some process is followed then it is always good bottom line is that try to teach the processes involved in 
any activities we do with our child during basically this 2 to 6 years of age third skill what we can just build in our child is that skill on understanding the easy way of doing this activity while we do in a professional life we always look forward is there a better way of doing those things it so doesn't matter if the same activities are done again and again in a school setup or at a household setup but important thing is that even if the same activity is done twice thrice five times then are we teaching the skill of doing it better quicker smarter than the previous one if that is not we are not building that skill in the school and or or at home then we are actually not doing good for our child so under processing skill doing things in a better way is very very important skill we must keep it in mind while we do a repetitive activity in the school or at home then last uh, component of the skill what we are just trying to build in the child in the preschool between 2 to 6 years of age group children that's the finishing skill again i am reiterating most of the professionals they start the job there absolutely no problem but once it comes to finishing this task then i think more than 90% professionals they fail they do not take the responsibility of finishing their particular task that sense of accomplishment is not there so if we can genuinely develop we can consciously develop the sense of accomplishment or the finishing skill then that will be a big big contribution from our side to our children so under this finishing skill first and foremost is that skill on completing the task if the child starts a particular activity child must finish that task if it is writing one page of something or it is it is uh, drinking water in right time or it is doing a small drawing doesn't matter what is that is so our job as parents and teacher is that to define that starting point and ending point under the processing skill child must reach to the end point of that activity if child is dropping that activity in between we are missing out a great deal of skill to build in the child which may be detrimental in the professional life of the child second skill under finishing skill is that skill on matching the visualization in the beginning of the task completion is first and foremost skill that has to be taken care of but second thing is that when the child visualizes something in the beginning of the task what we discussed on the planning stage at the ending stage at the finishing uh, stage how far the visualization matches to the actual one when we completed that task now if the visualization and the the reality is matching almost same the child's performance the child's effectiveness is fantastic and very good if that differs then there is something problematic for us as the parents or teacher or child because the moment the visualization is not matching with the reality then there is a sense of little bit of not fulfilling uh, what you try to achieve so to do that it's, it's a continuous process it's not like that we fix that in one activity we do and we achieve them it's a regular activity this is kind of skill for the teacher skill for the parents just keep it in mind and just uh, sustain those things while we do in number of activity with our child third thing is is the skill of understanding the feeling of accomplishment that's very very important when we do a piece of work we take the pride of accomplishment we feel that this is particular output that we have created by spending so much of input spending so much of our time spending so much of efforts so a lot of things have gone behind uh, you know creating that piece of work that we do after some activity so when the child takes the pride of feeling accomplishment that 
provides child quite a lot of confidence to move forward and do the same activity with further confidence and taking care of other activities similar level of confidence so the finishing skills are very very important we must keep it in mind a sense of person keep some activities we as parents and teachers doing for the child it's a big big mistake it's a it's a crime if some of you are just doing that please stop it that doesn't at all help the child to grow in the process child will be dependent child will be always looking forward and looking forward if anybody is there who can do the job for him so here neither the sense of accomplishment come neither the sense of processing will come all the four skills we talk about planning organizing processing finishing not a single skill the child is going to get if we do things for the child and child simply hold that that's the biggest biggest crime if we are just doing that we are making the professional life hell for the child please reconsider it please rethink again even you try to do 1% of the activity for the child yes as a parents as a mentor as a teacher we are there to support the child not do things for the child which are supposed to be done by the child this is very important my humble request is that if as teachers we are just doing that please reframe from that from now onwards that's going to help our child to be self confident now in this process whatever things we discussed then very important thing is that there must be catalyst there must be something we should be available which can provide little bit support of support of getting those things done when we engage our child with some activities so that's how we develop all these things taken together we develop something which is called daycare kit daycare kit is similar to a kind of toddler kit it's a similar to a kind of activity based learning kit so under this what we do is that we have brought a booklet just to give that understanding how various activities we need to do with our child then it has got various uh, you know a daycare kit daycare kit is nothing but but a kind of uh, activity based learning methods so for different months it has got different kids uh one month to eight months in a year we have defined eight months of learning through to the daycare kit all the concepts all the philosophy is based on these kind of four uh four skills which can be given to the child while we do such kind of activities with our children so that's all we need to keep it in mind doesn't matter whether we do a kind of kit based learning what i just told to you what is a daycare kit or a activity based learning kit or you can define your own activities for the child to get engaged in and ensure child gets these four skills and every time one activity is completed child's skill in those four areas are getting strengthened day by day those things we must keep it in mind rest of the things child will be you know enough to you know do best in her or his personal life and personal life thank you very much for your patient hearing and we'll come back uh, with a new session in our next session which is related to activity management and extended sessions on each and every skill that we try to develop while we just do various activities with our child thank you so much